Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV, freestyle, racing, acro, drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then Let's get into it. Today's a big day for us in learning how to fly a drone. So far, we have learned to take off and climb and go forward and slow down and speed up, but we haven't learned one important thing, turning. And that's what we're gonna start introducing in this video. And it, you know, if this was teaching you how to drive a car, uh, turning is as simple as turning the wheel left or right, but it is way more complicated on a drone. And it goes back to, that thing I said earlier, which is that flying a drone is about rotating the drone and changing the thrust of, that the drone is pushing in. And it turns out that turning involves some pretty complex changes in the thrust of the drone. Turning a drone is way more complicated than it seems like it ought to be. So like always with this video series, we're gonna introduce it in stages one step at a time and build up to the final skill. Before we get into that, this is the part in the video series where I start thinking, hey, you've been here a little while. Maybe you're actually starting to appreciate what's going on here. And maybe it's fair for me to let you know that I have a Patreon. Patreon is a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it. If you're getting a lot of value out of this series uh, and you come to a point where you decide that you think I've earned a little bit of support, the link in the video description below to my Patreon is the single best way to do that. I'm gonna remind you about that again later in the series. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it and I only wanna do it after you feel like I've actually provided you some value. If you, if you are there or if you get there, please remember that the link is there. It is one of the best ways to support me. Here is what we're gonna do in today's exercise. We're gonna take off and we're gonna pitch forward and we're gonna start moving forward, okay? And then we're going to turn the drone and see what happens. And I want you to turn the drone by moving the left stick left or right. And you'll see that it will turn the direction that the drone is facing. But it doesn't work like you might probably think. If I take off, and I establish forward flight, look at the direction I'm moving. I'm moving towards these trees. And if I input left yaw, so now I am turned to face to the left, do you see that I am still moving towards those trees? In fact, I have not at all changed the direction that I'm moving. And in fact, if I turn all the way around, now I am looking behind me, the yaw stick is almost like just rotating a turret on top of the drone. It changes the direction that you are looking but it doesn't change the direction that you are moving. And if again, we switch to the external view, you can kind of see why that is. Let me bring the drone a little closer to the camera here. Oh God, I can't fly line of sight. I can't fly line of sight. I'm bad at line of sight. I can only fly FPV. <laughs> oh God, oh God, oh God. I can't fly line of sight at all. Jeez, if I take off, and I pitch forward and I yaw. Do you see that the drone is rotating, but it isn't actually changing its axis of orientation. It isn't changing the direction that the thrust vector is pointing. So turning a drone is gonna involve multiple inputs, but we're gonna focus just on the yaw input here. And what I want you to do is, I want you to pitch forward and input some yaw. Okay. And what you're going to see is that when you input yaw, the horizon is now tilted a certain direction. So when I pitch forward, the horizon rises in the screen, indicating that I am pitched forward and I'm moving forward. The drone is tilted forward. When I yaw to the left, that forward tilt is translated into right lean. The, 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 plane in which the quadcopter is oriented hasn't changed, but the direction that I am looking has changed. And that means that pitch forward turns into right lean. If I do the same thing and I yaw to the right, now 
I translate that pitch forward into left lean. Now, obviously, if we actually want to turn the drone, we're gonna need some way to change which direction the drone is pushing itself. And clearly, yaw doesn't do that. I can yaw any which way I want, and the drone will keep moving in the same direction. I'm just changing the way I'm looking. The answer to uh, being able to turn the drone is the roll axis. So now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take off. I'd like you to establish that hover. And instead of pitching forward, I want you to roll to the left with the right stick. So we're going to push the right stick to the left and we're going to begin sliding to the left. And as you do that, in the same way that you had to adjust the throttle, you had to raise the throttle when you pitched forward, the same thing happens when you roll to the left. You will begin to descend and you will need to raise the throttle if you don't want to fall into the ground. We're going to climb. Let's get a little bit of extra altitude to get us away from the ground. We're going to roll to the left and we're going to begin sliding to the left. Now, at this point, we almost have the pieces that we need to put together to turn the drone. Like if you think about it, if I take off and I climb, let's climb to a relatively high altitude, maybe 40 or 50 meters. If I roll to the left and begin moving left and then yaw to the left to look in the direction I'm going, holy cow, I've made a left turn. So let's work on that for a little bit. We're gonna take off climb to about 40 or 50 meters, roll to the left to begin sliding to the left, and then yaw to the left to look in the direction that we're going. And what you're looking for is you wanna see the ground moving up towards you in a straight line. That tells you that you are looking the direction that you're moving. So if I take off and I roll to the left and I yaw like this, do you see that the ground is not moving sort of towards me in a straight line? I'm cocked off to the side. But if I yaw like this, now the ground is moving straight towards me and I am facing the direction that I'm moving. That's what we want to do. If we want to, we can also do a right hand move. We can move to the uh, roll to the right and yaw to the right. Uh, I'm putting in big moves to try and demonstrate this but you don't have to. We can climb to 40 or 50 meters. We can make just a little roll to the right and then yaw to the right. Okay. And the whole time we're gonna be adjusting our altitude with the throttle and adjusting our speed with pitch. The next thing I wanna introduce you to is what I call the safety position. Uh, and the safety position is a way of recovering control of the drone when you're trying to learn to fly and, it, and the drone kind of gets out of control. So let's just say that I've been trying to fly the drone and I've gotten kind of out of whack and I'm about to crash, okay? Okay. The safety position, the first thing you're gonna do is use the yaw stick to turn and look in the direction that the drone is moving so that the ground is moving sort of towards you and underneath you as opposed to like, ah, to the side or to the, to the rear. So if we've gotten all out of whack, the first thing we're gonna do is turn and look in the direction we're going. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the roll stick to level the horizon. And the third thing we're gonna do is use pitch to slow down our speed. And now we are back in control and we can do whatever we need to do. So. The way the safety position is gonna look is you are going to be moving forward slowly with the horizon level. Now we call that the safety position because you are very in control and aware of where the quad is going. It's moving forward so you can see whether you're about to crash as opposed to if like you're just whacked out moving sideways and you can't really see where you're going. We're moving forward and we're moving forward slowly so that we're not about to ah, crash into something. We're gonna level out and we're gonna reduce our speed, but we don't want to be hovering because if we try to hover, we are probably gonna end up drifting backwards, drifting sideways and crashing into something. We always wanna be ever so slightly moving forward. 
And as you're trying to do maneuvers, we're up in the sky and you're trying to turn and learn how to turn. If you start to get out of control, I just want you to yaw to look the direction you're going and then pitch back to control your speed. Well, I'm making it look a lot simpler than it is, but you'll get a lot of practice doing it as you go through these lessons. And as you go through these lessons, you're gonna to wanna to use the playlist in the video description below to find the next lesson or the card on screen. I will see you there.